Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name's George Ross. This channel is retro reselling. I buy and sell all sorts of things, mostly used, but vintage, antique, new, collectible, wherever it is, and I like it. I buy it cheap and then sell it online for a profit. That's how I work. That's my business. If you enjoy this sort of content and things like that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you know when I go live or upload new videos, you get notified straight away. Today, Chelmsford, where I am in Essex, we're officially in tier three. Obviously the virus restrictions and things. So what better way to celebrate than to go out charity shopping? Um, I haven't been to any boot sales really. I've been to one small one. That's a winter one. I didn't go on Sunday, it was raining again. I always need stocking, obviously. I'm full time, I need to pay all the bills. Get fresh stock, for why not? Pop to Chelmsford, my local town, do a bit of Christmas shopping at the same time. But I can't go to regular shops without popping in the charity shop. So come with me, got the GoPro. It's actually do my backpack in a minute. Come hunt with me, hopefully I don't miss anything. But if I do, let me know in the comments. Let's get thrifting. Oh, actually, can I get that one as well? Yeah, four yeah. pounds, please. There you go. There we go. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I was looking at this one, but then it's had quite a few different prices on. I wasn't sure. Um, was they're all the same. They're just the same tickets. I've put them on there three times. Oh, that, one's that should five. be that five. Oh, so I, was, I wasn't sure if it was no, fifteen. I think it should be this one. I don't think. I think they've repriced yeah. it wrong. Because let's face it, it is an old boy, isn't it? Retro. <laughs> Very retro. <laughs>
Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. That's my trip to town finished and yeah, again, another little table fall. It wasn't starting off very well. It was looking like I was going to pick up a couple of Harry Potter books, but as we went along, picking up more and more, and now I've got a nice little stack of stuff ready to obviously picture, test, get on eBay, a couple of things to send to Amazon. So yeah, all good, nice mixture again. I'll turn you around, show you what I got, what I spent, and then what I'm planning to list it for, or hopefully get, fingers crossed, online. So like I said, a very nice vast range. So we've got some retro, some modern, football stuff, books, got a bit of everything. So we'll start from this end. And this is the first thing I did get, just a couple of Harry Potter books. This is like a sort of a book charity shop type store locally. I always see if they got Harry Potters to complete bundles. We've got Tales of Beedle the Bard, which is a Harry Potter world type book, only a mini thing. But I like to put them with bundles to make them more attractive. And then Goblet of Fire, three pounds, bit of fade into the spine, but I needed this one to complete a whole stack, a whole bundle. So that's a nice hundred pound listing going up because of these two books. So very, very welcomed. This is something a bit different and something to look out for. Uh, I initially left it and then went back for it. I've paid four pound 50, there we go, RSPCA for this Xbox uh, PC Guitar Hero. I left it initially because it's wired. So I thought obviously really old, uh, not many people would want it. Bit of yellow in there, so I'm not sure if it's been exposed to the sun or something. But this is becoming sought after, sort of getting retro-ish, not vintage, but um, yeah. We'll see older designs, so more of the original one. And bids, these are going for over £40 on bids as auction. So obviously I've got to try and test it out somehow, or I have to set it untested because I haven't got an Xbox. Yeah, I have to try and work out how to test that properly so I can get buyer confidence. But from £4.50, uh, yeah, seems to be sought after. At least £30, I'm guessing, going on previous sold. So yeah, a bit of a bolo there. This Guitar Hero, one of the originals. Yeah, look out for them. A couple of football shirts, nice and cheap, uh, especially from a charity shop in town. We've got 2 99 for this Swedish uh, football, like international football shirt. They're both men's size. They should have come from the same donator. I think they're both size large, 2 99 And for this Spanish one, 3 99 This one, the Spanish one is more sort of common. Spain tends to be quite often bought in the UK. 3 99 into 15 to 18. It's not amazing, but a nice bill payer. Nice and light, easy peasy. This one's a bit more sought after, sort of uncommon to find a Swedish football top, especially like adult size. 2 99 bit cheaper, and this should go for a bit more as well. 20, 22 pound plus postage, again, really nice. Should sell well as it's an adult size, so yeah, very nice. A couple of bits maybe for Amazon. I'll start with this one. This will probably just go on eBay. I'll check the Amazon if I can sell them used. Uh, this is a VO5 Extreme Style Perfect Cut Hair Clipper. So see when you cut your own hair, like if you have a crop, I guess, you can do it yourself without paying for a barber each time. These tend to be good to pick up. Obviously not going to make loads of money, but I think you get a couple of different brands. I uh, haven't seen a VO5 one before, but I paid, it was £3 for this in the charity shop and they go for at least £20, £25 plus postage. Nice standard stuff. I picked this up loads of times. Let's go straight to Amazon and I've been getting 30 at least for this Tetris link. I paid 4 95 so paying a little bit more. Apparently it's complete. Obviously, I will double check that just to make sure. Box is in good condition. If it's complete, I paid like a fiver. And yeah, again, same sort of 30, 35, maybe a little bit more. Um, obviously, I'm, I've missed the Christmas rush now. But I've sold this year round. It tends to fetch good prices, especially on Amazon. I'm not sure on eBay. But yeah, Amazon, £30 at least. So yeah, shove it in the box and off it goes. This was interesting. Cast iron, I always look out for it. Paid five pounds for this. I was hoping when I flipped it around it's gonna be Le Creusot or like a French company, but it is a cheaper brand. We got Kirkton House. I haven't heard of that before, but looking it up, it seems to be a cheaper brand. Uh, I'm not sure if this has ever been used, which would be nice if I can sell it new. Like I said, five pounds cast iron stuff. Always worth picking up or looking at at least. Nice griddle, like for steaks and things. Uh, yeah, at least twenty five thirty. Rude. If it's brand new, I'm pretty sure this is brand new. I could ask a little bit more, so maybe 35, 40. So very nice. Just got to be careful with cast iron because even though it's a very hard, heavy material, it can be brittle. So this could snap off. 
and also this as well so extra padding make sure it's nicely secured in packing and yeah very nice profit to be made come to this one nothing special it's nice and retro got a Philips like radio stereo sort of boom box type thing had loads of different stickers like 15 pound 15 pounds then there's one that said five like a clearance asked it was five so willing to spend five on this just a cool little thing apparently it's been tested by tony tony's tested this but again i will test it i don't trust tony <laughs> gotta to make sure it is definitely working don't want any dinks or anything not amazing if it was 15 pound i will have left it because this is probably only 30 35 pound plus postage so from five that's fine uh but yeah 15 to 35 for something bulky and things like a bit more of a pain Obviously it takes more space up in my unit, I would leave it. But uh, yeah, Fiverr, going to pick that up all day. And last by no means least, this had just gone out in the shop. Uh, I've had to pay up, but obviously I don't mind paying up for the right item. And we all know this, Dr. Martin's, really nice pair of boots. Sort of leather, but more of a suede and we've got faux fur. Like a fleece inside there, so like winter boots, so bang in the right season, obviously. They just went out, like I said, and I had to pay $24.99, which is obviously paying up quite a bit in a charity shop. But um, with these being size 4, I think they are, I did look them up at the time because I wasn't sure. Obviously paying up full $24.99, wanted to make sure they do go for a strong bit of money. And I should be looking at at least 60 and top end, 75, 80. Probably more in the middle, yeah, 60, 65. <laughs> So from 25 to yeah 60 65 uh obviously really good brand really good condition good women's size um yeah should sell nice and quick nice and strong and easy to post so didn't mind spending a little bit more on them and that's everything i think you'll agree i've done very well again obviously going to a town like high street is very risky because obviously there's lots of competition lots of other like resellers and general buyers going to buy for themselves like so them Dr. Martins, I timed it very well because they would have gone even to someone to keep for twenty four ninety nine. Because these are probably £100 brand new. So yeah, if someone looking for a bargain, they would have gone if I wasn't there. Always a risk. We're going to a high street, but um, the risk has paid off for me again. So yeah, very happy. And obviously I can complete my Harry Potter bundle, which is uh, at least £100 listing. Very happy. Now I've got to get on. I've set up my photo area so I can crack on and get these listed ASAP. Uh, thanks again for watching if you did enjoy it smash that like button really helps me out and obviously subscribe if not already Be good to have you along we'll see i go live upload new videos throughout the year and with that being said i've got to crack on now thanks for watching see you in the next one happy christmas happy new year goodbye